14 Best New Strategy Games You Can Find in 2023 Hey there, my fellow gamers. As always, it's Game Like here. And you know what? I have a special place in my heart for strategy games. I mean, seriously, I've spent countless hours immersed in the Warcraft 3 and Age of Mythology. And let's not forget about my obsession with the Civilization series, where I must have restarted at least 300 times. Oh, and I've also indulged in the various iterations of the Total War series. So, you see, I'm a hardcore strategy enthusiast through and through. That's precisely why I've been keeping a close eye on this genre. And guess what? The time has come for me to reveal what's new and exciting out there. So go ahead, smash that like button and click that subscribe icon if you haven't already. Trust me, you won't want to miss out on what I'm about to show you. Age of Wonders 4. The first game on our list is Age of Wonders 4, the continuation of the renowned fantasy strategy series. This game combines elements of 4X strategy and turn-based tactical combat. But that's not all. It also allows us to take control of our own faction, which we can create to our liking and desire. The storyline revolves around the return of kings and wizards to the world, as they seek to seize power over mortals. However, we must manage one of the game's factions and prepare for the impending battle for the future of this world. Now, let's talk about the gameplay. As you may have guessed, it consists of two main components, the strategic map and tactical battles. On the map, we must explore new lands, build cities, develop technologies, and wield magic. We'll also be completing quests and more. During battles, you'll be in control of your characters in a turn-based mode, fighting on different locations. Each unit has its own unique characteristics, abilities, and equipment. In short, it looks cool as usual. But what makes it truly unique is its fantastical setting, Northgard. And now let's talk about Northgard. Well, it's not exactly a brand new game, but more like a breath of fresh air among the recent strategy titles. It was actually released back in 2018 and I played it back then. But let me tell you, a lot has changed since. Recently I revisited it and oh boy, the game has truly blossomed. Though I must admit it had its moments of greatness even before. So in Northgard you start off with a small settlement and a handful of villagers whom you need to send off for resource gathering. Then you gradually construct more significant buildings. The map consists of separate regions, each containing resources, treasures and nasty adversaries. Every region has a limited number of building spots and needs to be colonized from the start in order to yield food. Speaking of updates, the game has seen plenty, making it even more engaging. Northgard itself is not in a hurry, taking its time, but in real time. And there's a hint of survival elements in it too. You see, you need to ensure that your Nordic tribe always has enough food. It's a crucial aspect because during the summer things seem relatively normal, and you don't have to worry too much about sustenance. However, when winter arrives, harsh blizzards hit with temperatures dropping to minus 50 degrees. It becomes a real challenge to survive, and your people are at the heart of it all. Total War, Warhammer 3. If you have a deep appreciation for the Warhammer universe, then you should definitely try out Total War, Warhammer 3, a strategy game that immerses you in its rich world. In this game, you can choose one of several factions, and each one is truly unique. Not only do these factions possess their own distinctiveness, but they also have their own campaigns that unveil their history, motives, and goals. As for the storyline, I won't delve into it much, as it's something you'll discover for yourself. I must admit that I'm not particularly well-versed in the Warhammer lore, but when it comes to Total War, I know a great deal. The gameplay, as usual, consists of two main components. First, there's the Grand Map, where you govern your kingdom, developing cities, recruiting new armies, and expanding your territories in this futuristic setting. Then, there are the battles, and let me tell you, the battles in Total War are simply magnificent. They might even be considered unique as there's nothing quite like them anywhere else. You engage in massive clashes with armies of a thousand units on each side, creating awe-inspiring spectacles. And in the world of Warhammer, these battles take on an even more breathtaking appearance. But keep in mind that this is one of the latest installments in the Warhammer series which means that the graphics are superb and the gameplay is exceptionally well-refined. Mechabellum. And you should also check out Mechabellum, an epic auto-battler that takes place on a newly colonized planet. The game's plot is fairly straightforward. You play as one of the colonists who have arrived on this distant planet in search of new resources and opportunities. However, you soon discover that the planet is not as harmless as it initially seemed. It is home to various creatures that don't take kindly to uninvited guests. Moreover, you're not alone on this planet. There are other colonies competing for territory and resources. 
So you'll have to defend your base against enemy attacks and launch your own assaults on their bases. In terms of gameplay, Mecha Bellum is essentially an auto-battler. You don't directly control your units in real time, but rather strategically position them on the battlefield before the battle begins. Then, you simply watch the screen and enjoy the unfolding action, or, well, panic if your units get wiped out. There are numerous units to choose from, each with its own strengths and weaknesses. Naturally, you can mix and match them to create effective combinations. It's definitely an interesting concept that will give you plenty to think about. Silica. Another space-themed strategy game worth mentioning is Silica. However, it's not just a strategy game, but rather a combination of strategy and shooter elements. The game revolves around the struggle against an alien race in a desert-like setting. Apparently, the developers drew inspiration from Dune and StarCraft when creating this game. One of the notable features of Silica is its ability to seamlessly switch between strategy and shooter modes. You can choose from three factions. Two human factions, which are somewhat similar to each other, and the alien faction. Depending on the faction you choose, you'll have access to different units, technologies, and structures. For example, one human faction specializes in high-tech weaponry and defense, while the other utilizes hybrid technologies and mobility. The aliens, as expected, rely on sheer numbers and aggression. It's quite intriguing as Silica offers a unique gameplay experience. You can engage in strategic decision-making, managing your forces and structures, and then switch to the shooter mode, where you control a single character on the battlefield. It adds an extra layer of excitement and immersion to the game. Stranded, Alien Dawn. Another space strategy game I can recommend is Stranded, Alien Dawn. This game is a planetary survival simulator that puts you in charge of a small group of survivors who have crash-landed on an unknown planet. Your task is to protect them from hunger, diseases, extreme weather conditions, and the numerous alien creatures that inhabit the planet. You'll be responsible for constructing a base, gathering resources, researching technologies, cultivating food and hunting. Each survivor has their own unique backstory, skills, traits and needs, and it's up to you to manage them in a way that ensures not only their survival, but also their overall well-being. One of the notable features of the game is its replayability. Each playthrough can be unique as you have the freedom to choose different parameters for your game, such as difficulty, planet size, number of survivors, and more. There are numerous scenarios to explore, allowing you to tailor your gameplay experience. For instance, you can start the scenario not with a crash landing, but with a base defense situation. Stranded, Alien Dawn offers a challenging and immersive survival experience with plenty of scenarios to choose from. Total Conflict Resistance is a game that combines global strategy, tactical gameplay, and first-person action. The story takes place in the near future, where a totalitarian regime has seized power, leading the country to fragment into several small states. You play as a leader of the resistance, aiming to unite the diverse clans and create an army to wage war against the regime. The Gameplay of Total Conflict Resistance consists of three main modes, Global Campaign, Tactical Campaign, and Combat Mode. In the Global Campaign, you manage your state on a world map, making strategic decisions and overseeing the development of your forces. In the Tactical Campaign, you command your battalion on a sector map which is slightly smaller in scale. Finally, in combat mode, you can switch to a first-person perspective and engage in direct battles with the enemy. This combination of gameplay modes offers a unique and immersive experience. You have the opportunity to strategize on a global scale, manage tactical operations, and personally participate in intense combat encounters. The game provides a diverse and engaging gameplay loop, making it an interesting choice for players who enjoy both strategic and action-oriented experiences. Terrascape is an innovative game that combines city-building simulation with elements of a card game. In this game, you'll have the opportunity to construct your dream city in a non-modern setting, using different decks of cards that represent various buildings and expansion methods. Each card has its own placement requirements, advantages, and disadvantages, as well as interconnections with other cards. You must strategically place them to earn points and unlock new cards. Terrascape offers a unique blend of puzzle-solving, sandbox gameplay, and city-building simulation. Additionally, surprisingly enough, the game features a multiplayer mode. There is a separate sandbox mode where you can fully customize your experience. You can even test your skills in multiplayer mode, competing against other players based on the number of points earned. This adds an additional layer of excitement and competition to the game. Overall, Terrascape provides an intriguing mix of genres, 
offering players the chance to engage in strategic decision-making, creative city-building, and multiplayer challenges. It sounds like an interesting and enjoyable experience for those who appreciate both puzzle-solving and city-build simulation games. Victoria 3 is a grand strategy game that follows in the footsteps of its predecessors and allows players to manage one of several dozen nations from the years 1836 to 1936. The chosen time period is significant as it is filled with various transformative events, such as the Industrial Revolution, Nationalism, Socialism, Imperialism, and World Wars, among others. As players, we must balance different interests within our society, implement reforms, foster innovation, develop the economy, advance technology, engage in diplomacy, or wage wars. The game offers a deep level of detail and complexity, with a meticulously crafted population system that is divided into different social classes, professions, and cultures. It requires careful consideration and planning. However, despite the historical context, Victoria 3 also allows for alternative versions of events to unfold, providing players with the opportunity to create their own narratives. Overall, Victoria 3 is an incredibly immersive and sophisticated game. It delves into the intricacies of managing a nation during a pivotal period in history, and it offers players a chance to shape their own alternative versions of events. It's a fantastic gaming experience for those who enjoy challenging and thought-provoking grand strategy games. The Last Haven is a survival strategy game set in the aftermath of a nuclear war. In the game, you take on the role of a leader of a small settlement of survivors. Your main objective is to ensure the survival of your people by providing them with food, shelter, and protection. However, your responsibilities go beyond managing the settlement. You must also explore technologies, produce weapons and ammunition, and organize defense. Defense is crucial because in addition to dealing with natural phenomena, you will encounter various bandits and even mutants. The Last Haven combines both strategic and tactical gameplay elements. In the strategic mode, you have an overview of the settlement and can manage its development, construct buildings, assign workers, and more. In the tactical mode, you can directly control individual residents and their squads, issuing commands and engaging in combat. The Last Haven offers a blend of strategic decision-making and hands-on tactical control. You need to carefully balance the needs of your settlement, explore technologies, and protect your people from threats. It's an engaging and immersive experience for fans of survival and strategy games. Aquatico is an underwater city-building game set in the not-so-distant future where the Earth's surface has become a barren wasteland. However, humanity hasn't lost hope and has ventured underwater in search of a new place to live, resembling Aquaman in a way. It's essentially a frostpunk-like game but set in an underwater environment. In Aquatico, you'll need to explore and extract resources, produce essential supplies for underwater life, and overcome numerous challenges. Building a city in a submerged environment comes with its own set of difficulties. In addition to constructing homes and factories, you'll need to create specialized infrastructure to provide the necessary resources that are scarce underwater, such as oxygen and normal pressure. The game presents a unique and visually stunning setting as you navigate the depths of the ocean. You'll encounter unexpected events and the potential for unpredictable consequences as the underwater infrastructure occasionally breaks down. Aquatico offers an unconventional and intriguing gameplay experience for players who enjoy city-building games with a twist. Digzion is an indie real-time strategy game with management elements. In this game, you play as the administrator of the Tycon Space Station, which is a prototype of the Dalos Corporation's project and the last hope for humanity to save us from an environmental collapse. However, during the station's launch, a catastrophe occurs. Part of the moon breaks away from its orbit and devastates the Earth. The Tycon space station, being the prototype, is left adrift in space. You find yourself alone in the cold and dangerous cosmos, or rather, not entirely alone. You have a whole crew on board, and it is your responsibility to take care of them. As the station's administrator, your duties include ensuring provisions, providing energy, maintaining the crew's morale, and solving various problems such as oxygen supply and more. You'll also explore new star systems, planets, and asteroids as the game progresses, where you can gather additional resources. Ixion offers a strategic space exploration experience where you must manage resources, maintain the well-being of your crew, and make decisions that affect the survival and progress of your space station. It's a unique and captivating concept that combines elements of strategy, management, and space exploration. Age of Empires 4 Anniversary Edition 
is an updated and extended version of the famous historical strategy game that continues the traditions of the series. It puts you in the center of epic battles that have shaped world history. In this game, as usual, you can choose from a dozen different civilizations, ranging from the English to the Chinese, and embark on your path to glory. Each civilization is unique, allowing you to try to restore the might of the Mongol Empire under the leadership of Genghis Khan, or build a powerful Russian state under Ivan the Terrible. The game features multiple campaigns, each consisting of several missions where you must accomplish various tasks, such as resource gathering and enemy destruction. The game includes four main resources, food, wood, gold, and stone. These resources are essential for constructing buildings, recruiting units, and advancing your civilization. Age of Empires 4 Anniversary Edition offers a rich and immersive experience that captivates players. The game's depth and attention to historical detail make it a highly enjoyable and engaging strategy game. Get ready to be drawn into the world of Age of Empires and experience the thrill of commanding civilizations and shaping history. Dune Spice Wars is a real-time 4X strategy game set in the famous Dune universe. In this game, you must lead your faction and fight for control and dominance over the desert planet of Arrakis. But it's not just a strategy game about sand and worms. It's a game where you have to consider multiple factors such as politics, espionage, war, ecology, religion, and of course, spice, the most valuable resource in the universe. Spice not only represents currency, but also grants you power, allowing you to develop technologies, improve units, and even enable interstellar travel. The game features several playable factions, including the Atreides, Harkonnens, and more, each with their unique characteristics. For example, the Freemen are skilled guerrilla fighters and desert experts, while the Harkonnens are notorious for their violence and cunning. One of the game's notable features is its multiplayer mode, where you can invite friends and engage in 2v2 battles or free-for-all mode. It adds an exciting competitive aspect to the game. Dune Spice Wars offers a highly enjoyable and immersive experience, showcasing the depth and richness of the Dune universe. Whether you're a fan of the books or new to the series, this game promises to deliver a great strategy gaming experience.